Hi, I'm Jo Quaint. I'm a consultant paediatrician um, in Portsmouth um, and I'm doing these series of videos to hopefully help parents who um, come to my clinic or anybody actually who hasn't even been to my clinic to understand how their child brain works um, and things you can do to try and improve it when they've had meltdowns and why they have those meltdowns. Um, I've done a video on the hand model and so if you're watching this without watching that this is going to make no sense so please watch that one first. I've done a video on cortisol and I've done a video on um, oxytocin. This video is on dopamine um, and so dopamine and here's my hand again. So dopamine is what I call my, I call it my Xbox and chocolate cake uh, hormone. It's your reward hormone. It's that one that makes you go, ooh, oh, is that it done? You know, so if I've eaten my, if I look at chocolate cake and it is there and I think I really want you, I really, really want you. I eat it and go, oh, that's really lovely. I want the next one. It's like your Xbox levels. You do your one level, I've got it. Oh, there's another level. You know, and it's such, it's very, very short lived um, reward system. And so the way our brains work, we've got my downstairs brain here, my clever frontal lobe here. And in the middle of it all, you've got what's called your default mode networks. Okay, and that's kind of stuff that, you know, when you're watching telly or you're eating, you're not thinking about it, you're not engaging your clever frontal lobe, you're just doing it. You know, it's a habit, you've learned it, um, and that's what runs on our default mode networks. And this is run a lot by dopamine. Now, if you've got a child who is hyperactive, inattentive, quite impulsive, does stuff without thinking, they're running off their default mode networks in here, so it's kind of a, they're around your downstairs brain, and they um, and it's all dopamine driven. It's that oh look at that oh look at that oh I've just climbed up that I've just seen it oh I've done this and that kind of constant. Those of you who have children like this will be relating to it completely, and so this is my dopamine. So my dopamine can sometimes be quite nice. We we all like rewards. It gives us a lot of satisfaction. But actually, it can lead on to that. So if we l allow it to grow, this is what can lead on to those addictive natures. This is what can lead on to alcohol misuse, substance misuse, because actually that impulsivity is just allowed to grow um, and develop. And so when you've got a child who is quite impulsive, they will run on their dopamine and then when the world is they're stopped from doing it, they get a real sharp burst of cortisol and they flip their lids. So when you've got hyperactive and impulsive kids, they're flipping their lids all the time. Um, and so what we need to do for those children, and it sounds completely counterintuitive, is that staying calm, because actually what you're trying to do is to tame that dopamine drive. You're trying to tame it and if you shout and scream, what you do is you get far more cortisol bursts. And that cortisol then actually drives the inattention and the impulsivity even more. So you're worsening the whole affair. And hence, once again, I've got to think about my oxytocin. I'm going to think about how I can get my lid down. And so, so if we go back to that swings um, example I gave before, when your child is on that swing, they're having a lovely dopamine rush. Oh, this is the best, this is the best. I mean, you know, and the, their lid is down, they're happy, you know. But then when you say we're coming off it, it's like, no, she's trying to remove me from my dopamine. This is wonderful. And they flip their lids. And so once again, it's just understanding that when they're doing something they really, really like doing, you know, but they've got to stop. That's because they've got this a lot of this reward dopamine going and you need to actually give them a bit of time, space, reward and then when they have their strop, it's not about just shouting at them. It's about thinking different ways through to actually manage that to get their lid back down. Okay, that's me again on four and a half minutes. I'm going to stop there. Um, thank you very much for listening.